people so good evening today thank you for joining us so let me introduce myself i'm uh, nivedita i'm an architect and an assistant professor uh, so today i'm representing momentum in this uh, webinar series uh, we i i guess few of you have already been attending uh, our previous sessions so this uh, webinar series is about uh, architecture uh, we call it architecture 101 basically uh, giving you a, a small insight to what architecture is all about uh, majorly for uh, students who are aspiring to become an architect and who are searching for career opportunities or finishing 12th right now and then trying to understand what to do next so um, basically uh, there were two previous episodes uh, so the first two dealt with uh, understanding how to uh, enter into architecture what kind of entrance uh, uh, exams that you would have to give and then an knowledge about that and uh, the second one uh, we had discussed uh, architect rupeshwar had discussed about uh, what happens inside an architecture college what kind of uh, Uh, study happens what kind of courses you do and uh, what is the life really of an architecture student so this is what uh, has happened till now so through this episode basically we are trying to uh, give you an insight to what um, insight to basically what kind of uh, career opportunities that you can have later uh, once you finish architecture uh, and also what is the industry about uh, so before uh, so before delving into the core of what the career up opportunities are so for whoever who was not present previously i will just uh, give you a brief uh, about like what architecture is and how to get into it uh, first so to, in a general sense architecture uh, we we call it the art and science of designing buildings or any kind of physical uh, structure uh, to tell you in deep it involves uh, everything uh, any the total environment any kind of a built environment from a town planning level to an urban design level uh, town planning urban design landscape architecture and to the micro level of uh, having construction details and furniture also so any kind of a built environment designing any kind of built environment we can call it architecture so uh, to brief you it's like uh, realizing any concept or an idea uh, so that it can be about construction it can also be about uh, uh, how how people see buildings or uh, where even a building fits in so architecture is sort of a wide uh, subject in that sense it's not just one designing one building so let me um, so how do you uh, what is it it's basically a five year course and uh, the eligibility for you you should have uh, finished uh, 12 standard and uh, or 10 standard plus a three year uh, recognition course so both of these in 12 standard you should have taken the physics chemistry and maths um, a group Uh, you need a physics and maths knowledge uh, in depth uh, and if you are taken if you taken any diploma course it should also involve uh, mathematics so uh, basically we they take uh, for the calculation of marks uh, your in from your 12 standard marks around 50 percentage of your uh, aggregate uh, pcm aggregate right so uh, those two things will be taken and uh, along with that other than your uh, school uh, education and marks uh, we you need to be giving an aptitude uh, test so there are usually two kinds of aptitude tests uh, one is your nata uh, that is a national aptitude test for architecture and then the other one is jee so jee you all uh, would have heard for engineering also so there are two different papers uh, so paper 2 of jee is for uh, architecture design courses uh so to give you an um, insight on what uh, uh, nata is about uh, like i said it's an aptitude test so there will be questions uh, including 
uh, like two parts basically one is an online uh, exam that you will have to give and second one would be a paper based exam where in the online exam uh, uh, you would be having questions regarding uh, physics chemistry logical reasoning uh, those kind of uh, puzzle solving and uh, those kind of uh, questions and then you have another paper based um, uh, structure uh, both it, it's a combination of both so if you have a day where you're giving an exam you will do both in the paper based one you will basically dealing uh, you will be dealing with sketching uh, as a whole so uh, for sketching also so now right now or in depth if you need to know a lot more about nata and uh, je you can contact uh, momentum uh, academic studio so they would be able to guide you uh, in depth about what kind of questions come and everything and uh, so je is also similar uh, where you have both physics related questions uh, maths related questions and a sketching part since architecture like i uh, told you it is both art and science so you have that kind of uh, combinational uh, test aptitude test that you will have to give and only if you uh, pass that aptitude test you will be uh, along with your class 12 marks uh, you will be sent to counseling and through which you can select your colleges like how you do in engineering as well uh, so so je now uh, usually je is given for colleges like iits and nits and uh, nata deals with uh, most of uh, almost every other architecture college and uh, in case also certain colleges require their own um, uh, entrance exams depending on the colleges but most of your um, if you are from tamil nadu or anna university colleges everything deals with just nata and um, other than that uh, if you are looking for other state that you want to get in you might have to give certain state based entrance exams as well uh, so that that is similar to any other course um, also like all of, all of your questions you can just put it in the chat box uh, i will clear the same at the end of the uh, session so we uh, so once you enter into the college so this is the methodology to enter into architecture to enter into bark the course is bark uh, it's a five year undergraduate program and um, once you finish the five years uh, i will tell you in detail uh, i'll give you a brief about uh, what kind of um, courses or what kind of uh, skills that you would acquire through these five years uh, in the next few slides so once you finish them uh, you will have to there is a body called council of architecture which is uh, a statutory body that basically regulates the regulates both education and practice of uh, architecture within our country so once after you finish an architecture course uh, as an architect you would have to uh, register yourself uh, with the council of architecture and they will give you a license number so that's when you are registered architect and you will be able to practice in the country only then uh, so uh, that validates your um, profession basically so this is about uh, a brief about your eligibility how to get in and uh, the course details so next i would like to uh, take you through uh, uh, although the previous session we dealt with uh, what kind of courses you deal in the architecture college and everything before we go into the opportunities uh, i want to brief you through what are the skills that you would be equipped with so uh, based on understanding of this you would understand what kind uh, of avenues that you have once you finish architecture once you are an architect so uh, the major thing that we uh, the any the basic thing is you would be taught the fundamentals of design so um, basically in any kind of a design course de designing product or furniture and everything there is a commonality involved so uh, that is your basic uh, design so where you will be able to uh, study in detail what makes it uh, uh, fun what makes some object or a building or a anything functional and usable so you would be studying things like uh, color uh, shapes volumes 
how to look at them how to uh, combine them together how to make them usable how to make them look good so uh, certain essentials that are required for you to have a good design eye so fundamentals of design is the basic thing like the first uh, the first year at least deals with it and then slowly uh, next another important uh, part of uh, architecture so your buildings are built for uh, people uh, and it is used by people so you will be given a deep understanding about uh, uh, who who generally like the our community our society how it functions uh, the culture and uh, things like how uh, architecture basically spaces or buildings correspond to your culture the people so you will be given a very uh, in depth understanding about that that is one skill that you will acquire and um, materials and construction so uh, as the name suggests uh, when we talk about buildings uh, all of you would have come across the word construction so uh, materials are basically things like bricks and whatever material that is used for construction their uh, in depth uh, knowledge about them how they behave uh, what sizes they are where do they where you get them uh, what how do you use them and then uh, construction techniques uh, the signs of it the technicalities of it uh, materials and construction uh, is something you will learn in depth uh, and then next is building engineering so when i say building engineering uh, many of you in general lot of people have this uh, uh, question of uh, archi- what is the difference between architecture and uh, an architect or a civil engineer structural engineer and things like that so uh, architecture is different from building engineering structural engineers and uh, civil engineers deal with uh, the, studying the engineering part of it that is basically the uh, Phys- physics of it how it stands how does it how do you detail out a pillar or a beam in a comp- in a general language if i have to say so they deal with that portion of it so once you design a building as an architect uh, a structural engineer would take it forward and then detail out uh, the necessary uh, uh, physical aspects for the building to be stable but now uh, while you are designing a building uh as an architect you need to have uh, knowledge about that as well otherwise if you design a building that is uh, unstable then the engineer cannot take it forward and detail anything from it so there will uh, throughout at least for the first 3 years there uh, there will be subjects that uh, train you to understand the engineering of a building so in a broad sense uh, in any kind of an architectural project the architect comes uh, sort of takes the lead uh, it starts from him and then it goes to other specializations for it to be developed and then gone taken to site so he sort of modulates the whole project so he needs to know uh, he needs to have an un- good understanding of every aspect of a building from its inception or conception to its completion through throughout so building engineering will be something that you will learn and um, so yes interiors to cities and details to big picture so what i'm trying to say is uh, it covers a wide range so you would be studying about how to design uh, say inside a bedroom uh, where do you want to place your bed to uh, cot to cupboard from there to a level of uh, an urban design maybe when i call it like designing cities and things like that where uh, you you would learn how a city is formed or how what kind of um, uh, ro- like designing even the edges of the roads the landscape Uh, around it where to place which site works well for what kind of building so 
from that uh, from the smallest to the largest um, any kind of a built in environment you will get an insight uh, a basic understanding to it through this undergraduate program and uh, again details to big picture is the same thing even if we take uh, a, a general uh, normal building like residence if all of us can relate to uh, you will you will be looking at uh, the big picture of it from uh, how the building is uh, what is the size of the building or uh, how the walls are going to be where the rooms are going to be spaced who is going to build it uh, what what will be the budget of it uh, where are we going to build it or everything from there the big picture to even the details of what color paint or what uh, kind of flooring or uh, what kind of uh, furniture that i want it here or what what kind of an artifact i want to put uh, what kind of painting i want to put so it's like uh, through the five years of course you will be uh, taken in stages from year 1 year 2 year 3 to all of these uh, parts of a build structure and you will get a good understanding of it uh, so that is about it and practicality so when i say practicality uh, so there are two things one while we designing we saw from interiors to cities and uh, details all the designing portion of it you will be studying you will also be studying how it can be uh, executed on to the site so architecture uh, it starts from uh, paper and it goes uh, and then it is now it will get translated to reality that is on to the ground so it's a large process uh, so what they uh, we need as an architect uh, you will have to be equipped with all the skills to understand designing on a paper inside an office to Uh, combining as in being having the ability to bring in different people from contractors to vendors uh, to so that you can construct it on site uh, taking it constructing it on site is a whole different ball game from designing it on paper so uh, the course is um, designed such that uh, you will have uh, different things like uh, for example uh, general every every design co um, subject that you have in every semester you will have real life case studies where you will go and understand how it is happening any subject will involve uh, live studies where you go and see so it's very uh, a hands on kind of a core structure that you will uh, have inside architecture so that equips you with the skill of dealing things uh, talking to people Uh, dealing with different people going and seeing on site what is happening rather than reading from books uh, you will have multiple tours and uh, basically trips study trips where you will uh, learn about culture the history of it as well as the current architects what they are doing uh, so all these kind of exposure you will have uh, and also as a it is a stipulated it is stipulated as per the course uh, thing where you have an internship so depending upon the regulations and the college either you will have 6 uh, months or a one year out of the five years either 6 months of it or one year you will have an internship program so uh, that is where you out of so it's basically as you study you will uh, be able to uh, through your uh, works you you attend an interview all by yourself and get a uh, internship position in as a trainee as a trainee architect you will uh, be working in a company and you will see in pra in practice what happens inside the company so uh, that is a great exposure uh, before you get into the field itself where you see uh, in real what uh, what actual buildings that they build what happens how do they build and uh, you do work you do work for the buildings so that is also a part of the course this is uh, so this is i i i believe this has given you an understanding of what the course is about as well as uh, what kind of uh, skills that you will have when you come out so the uh, next so i'd like you to um, so like i just told you about the course uh, architecture basically is a 
it has a wide range of activity involved one project uh, has various uh, activities within that not just designing on paper uh, from designing to uh, uh, discussing with clients and getting approvals to getting approvals to the government bodies to uh, taking it to the site uh, selecting materials buying materials uh, putting it onto the site getting it constructed coordinating with different uh, contractors to get it con uh, constructed so all these things are usually overlooked uh, by the architect so this is the uh, process of this um, uh, probably uh, different stages that is involved in any architectural uh, project so uh, now let me go into what kind of opportunities that you will have um, so let me just call them as verticals basically like i said every project has uh, different um, stages uh, so from uh, your design stage so that is what we call the planning and uh, design and then there is a stage called uh, there is a portion called project management there is one sector called site management uh, visualization research so what is this uh, to give you um, inside about so from uh, there is a difference in this uh, length of these verticals from a small scale project to a large scale project so let's say let's for example take a small scale project like uh, like your uh, three bedroom uh, villa or you would so probably that's somewhere a small scale project i would say so when when a project like that is there uh, one architect can look into all the aspects of this process he will be able to design he will be able to manage the whole project from uh, a to z he will be able to look into the site manage the site he will be able to uh, uh, so uh, selecting materials and things like that all that falls into planning and design itself so and there is visualization so this word basically means uh, we all know about uh, whatever we design uh, until it is uh, whatever we sketch or whatever plans we make usually you see until we build it on the site uh, it is not understood by anyone else who is not an architect so now due to improvements of technologies and everything we have uh, various softwares from which you can create uh, three dimensional uh, models and renderings basically photorealistic images of what exactly as an architect you are visualizing uh, and you can uh, show it to your uh, clients or contractors or anything in the design stage so that visualization itself is one separate vertical which needs uh, a lot of skill it needs understanding of architecture it needs understanding of uh, learning of lot of softwares uh, to create those photorealistic images so that itself is one sector and then you have research so research is basically uh, like it applies for any uh, uh, field of study as the, uh, you need to keep you keep researching so that you can do better and better uh, for the next time so all these things in a small scale project uh, one architect can deal with it but uh, like i said architecture deals with uh, when you imagine a, a really from the smallest to the largest project uh, when you imagine a gated community or a bulk of apartments or uh, an, a town or city design urban design project and things like that all these uh, verticals need different uh, at least n number of architects uh, who have an art architecture qualification to be involved in so uh, one person would take care of the design and planning inside the office and uh, another architect would be taking care of the project management as a whole because uh, your design team itself will be large enough where you need people to take care of the team if they are all coordinating well uh, from there to he'll be coordinating with the contractors vendors all the third party and then there would be one person who will be taking care of the site itself so uh, when i say um, site so in the site there are different activities like as per the drawing that is given as an architect whatever drawing that you produce 
will have to be translated into reality so it has to be just like how you create so one person has to manage the site what happens there what things come and go and go there so that is another vertical and visualization i ex as i explained it to you uh, through your architecture study you will be studying how to uh, express them how to uh, make these 3d images as sketches or using uh, using software you will have you will study that uh, so you you will be able to manage for a smaller scale so it, this itself can work as a separate um, role also it, it has a separate uh, cadre in a firm itself as a visualizer you call them as a visualizer and then research so these are various verticals that are involved uh, as an architect you can involve yourself and then you will have opportunities uh, in this so depending um, depending on the size of the firm and uh, the scale of the project uh, you can uh, choose uh, what uh, you want to take up as a job and uh, so so now after understanding the after understanding what kind of uh, verticals that we have what kind of layers that we have inside architectural one architecture project so the general way uh, after you finish a course you will have something called as a portfolio that will be a collection of all your works every semester you will have you will be producing a design uh, different project design you will be designing a mall or you will be designing a residence you will be designing uh, some urban project uh, anything and so you will have a portfolio of whatever you did so as a fresher as soon as you get out uh, that speaks so whatever you did through the college and using that you can get into so we have innumerable uh, number of firms within the country as well as abroad so it could range from uh, a small company from four people to even uh, a large company where like you you would have heard lnt lazen tabo uh, or any real estate firm multinational companies which deal with uh, really large scale projects like um, apartment or uh, gated communities and uh, skyscrapers to anything of that sort commercial buildings so we have innumerable companies where you can uh, get in so uh, the usual way of uh, getting inside is where um, uh, it's it's again up to your uh, choice what your interest lies in once you finish when you go into a smaller company after you finish architecture uh, you will be involved in all of the verticals like i explained before uh, you will be involved in um, small to uh, medium scale projects however the firm deals with and then you will be able to deal with uh, everything from a to z of a project uh, usually in a small small scale uh, firm that when you join smaller firm and uh, as if your interest lies in uh, dealing with buildings when i uh, smaller uh, dealing with buildings really large and things like that you can choose those large scale firms and you will you you will be uh, put into certain sectors of design so that's how usually it works and uh, both india and abroad uh, so when we say uh, abroad most you do have mostly in middle east uh, particularly uh, precisely uae and uh, qatar and everything you have a lot of construction companies which uh, take you in uh, without uh, as a fresher as a br undergraduate as well uh, and uh, so this uh, pretty much what i want to say here and uh, in terms of um, even uh, when i say uh, uh, firms it could involve a design architecture design company it could involve a contracting company it could involve a real estate uh, company it could in, it could be a builder company so in any of these companies you will have uh, you will be able to get a job opportunity so those were about the private sector in terms of your uh, government sector uh so there is a list of uh, government bodies that i have listed down where uh, like how you can give a upsc exam and then you can uh, uh 
choose so basically it involves uh, government building uh, government uh, organizations like your uh, public works department uh, your urban uh, building authorities your housing boards uh, then your uh, town town and country planning authorities so all these uh, deal with uh, built environment and then they require architects to deal with uh, different uh, roles so the kind of roles that you would have there can include uh, a general an architect a historian uh, also and then you have contract a contractor's role also you can take in there uh, and in building inspectors role uh, journalists role and then a landscape architect so inside your government uh, organizations also we have different uh, roles which you can choose from based on your interest be both for uh, uh, as a fresher as well as as a um, if you are going to specialize in anything so i this is how the industry is set up uh, so these are the kind of places where you can get opportunities uh, as soon as you finish uh, architecture as an undergraduate so uh, next like i would like you to take you through uh, now after architecture there are a lot of specializations that you can take up as well uh, so there are certain things so even in your after you finish under graduation you can choose uh, firms which are specialized in certain things you can work your way up from uh, being like even in this sign kind of a scenario uh, you can work your way up from um, being a junior architect uh, you would have already done your internship so from being a junior architect to uh, different uh, you can promote yourself to an associate architect in the company so if you if you have interests in uh, various things like interiors and landscape uh, the the specializations that i'm going to be talking about now you can take up a masters program after that and some of it you can uh, just understand and learn through practice by working with firms and learn that also if you have an interest and if you do not want to do masters now uh, i will give you a, a brief about what each of these uh, masters program are about and uh, what you will study from it uh, so one is you can after architecture you can specialize in interior design so once you finish your five years and uh, you would have to uh, you can based on the interest since you in the undergraduate program you get an insight to everything uh, all these uh, whatever specializations you will have some subject or the other that you will study in undergraduate undergraduation course and you will have an understanding of what uh, it will deal with in detail so you can find your interests through that and you can choose or not uh, uh, not choose to do your masters but if you choose to do uh, there are another a plethora of uh, opportunities in that also so one is interior design which deals with uh, basically inside a space inside a room uh, how do you want to detail it like uh, to give you an example with the residence itself um, how uh, it it gives in depth that through that course you will get an in depth knowledge about the materials that you would use for your furniture for your paint and for your um what you call flooring what kind of colors you want to use uh, just designing the interiors particularly in depth knowledge you will acquire through this and then your uh, next one is uh, landscape architecture so in landscape architecture you will study uh, so as the word suggests it's a lot to do about uh, plants and vegetation uh, but when architecture comes into play it's 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 simply designing anything any kind of open spaces so between these buildings whatever open spaces are there uh, how to design them how to make it usable uh, so architecture does not is not just function uh, is not just uh, the beauty or designing anything beautiful it is essentially about uh, making it usable and functional for uh, the people whoever is using it so landscape architecture you will learn in depth about that the open spaces so it could be designing your um, uh, the landscape along your uh, street your parks your regional parks your uh, national parks or even inside a smaller project like your uh, 
apartment complexes, any kind of gardens that you have, uh, even your residential garden detailing that, even if it's a terrace garden. So from even that, from your smaller scale to the larger scale to a city level, how uh, you can, how public landscape areas can be designed, you will study that in detail. You can specialize that and then you will, you have job opportunities very uh, particularly in that stream also. And then there is a stream called uh, architectural conservation. Uh, so conservation, you would have also come across that word. So it is dealing with preservation of old uh, buildings. Basically, uh, when we say buildings, it's, it includes uh, a wide range of conserving the heritage of our thing. So learning about the old uh, cu culture, its heritage, what kind of buildings were there, how to... Um, make them stay, preserve them, what uh, what kind of technical aspects uh, that you can do to preserve them. So uh, whoever is interested, whoever is interested in history and uh, who have um, uh, bent towards uh, heritage can take up courses like this after architecture. You will be a conservationist after that. And then uh, another uh, stream is urban design. Uh, Another one is planning. So uh, basically, this deals with designing of your uh, cities, uh, city, the larger scale. Basically, how uh, how should one uh, how should one area be? It look like what kind of buildings should it have? Uh, so it it deals with the large scale uh, designing and urban planning would. Uh, more deal with the technicalities of what kind of policies and what kind of uh, planning aspects uh, one has to deal with uh, during city planning. So after these kind of courses, you have a lot of opportunities in go uh, government bodies, like uh, every government requires an urban uh, designer. You, they need their knowledge in uh, setting even these bylaws and uh, all kinds of policies and decisions like that in housing boards, in um, uh, your uh, DTCP adapted town planning and uh, town country planning authority. So all of these um, sectors, uh, you can find job opportunities. And uh, another stream is uh, basically sustainable architecture. So you will be coming across this word called sustainability uh, quite a bit uh, nowadays. So now this sector of architecture deals with uh, uh, very precisely studying um, about buildings, how it can uh, have a good uh, impact on the environment, uh, how it can have negative, uh, it cannot, how it should not have a negative impact on the environment, what kind of materials we can use to uh, uh, make it uh, such that it does not affect the ecosystem or our environment in a bad way, what kind of construction techniques. So it deals in depth about that. And uh, so you have uh, really large opportunities in that stream also. Another stream is construction management. So construction management uh, like basically deals with how uh, the whole project, how uh, planning the whole project itself, uh, not the design aspect, more like uh, what the scheduling of it, the uh, who takes up what and what time when it gets done and uh, if it is happening properly or no as per the plan so it's just managing the whole project from your uh, and coordinating with every party that is involved in a project so uh, that is one separate uh, stream that you can specialize in and then we have uh, something called as advanced architecture where we will uh, so uh, till now we saw a lot of things like sustainability and construction management so advanced architecture is one stream which is now uh, developing where you will be studying about uh, how to even design uh, futuristic cities now that we are talking about living in mars and uh, uh, what not we, we're thinking about intelligent buildings and uh, how we are going to store data in buildings so there are different uh, as the technology improves uh, the field of architecture also requires uh, constant improvement and um, as it, it, it was uh, working with science also learning um, but it, this is sort of a research by design kind of a design by research kind of a course that you can take up later where you will uh, 
study to invent new materials and construction techniques and ideas and things like that so this completely deals with futuristic architecture basically Uh, so, till now, uh, we were looking at a certain kind of uh, streams that we are possible after architecture. So, there are a few more. Basically, um, this is this is a little um, uh, more uh, specific uh, kind of designs or little away from architecture, uh, opportunities away from architecture, uh, the core subjects also. So one is there is something called as lighting design itself, where um, you'll be dealing with uh, from designing lights to how uh, every single light in a building uh, works and how to design just the lighting itself inside a build space or any kind of open space, anything. And then you could take up uh, of courses in product and industrial design. So you, uh, whoever, you know, courses like this happens in NID, National Institute of Design and everything. So product design is uh, basically designing anything from uh, your sharpeners to um, uh, your uh, lights to phones and, and so uh, it involves anything, any kind of product and industrial design will be, it's sort of a product design where it involves an understanding of uh, the in industry aspects like mass production. If a product, if a chair has to be produced in, uh, in a large quantity, so that requires a separate set of a skill. So that kind of a design also you can take up. Furniture design itself is one uh, stream that you can go for. And uh, so graphic design. So uh, basically the fundamentals of design that we saw, uh, that we study in your uh, first few years of architecture helps you to uh, dwell, I mean, go in deep about these things. It helps you to have a good knowledge base so that you can understand even these aspects of design, general design also very well. So there are people who um, I know who have not even taken up masters in graphic design or anything and still pursue uh, after becoming an architect pursue uh, graphic design as their courses also as as in when their interest uh, develops so and all these things that we are seeing now plays a uh, integral part of buildings and architecture also so taking up these courses uh, enhances you uh, as an architect and enhances your skills as an architect to give better designs as well. Few other streams, if you uh, like journalism, uh, you can, uh, there is, uh, there are a lot of opportunities in architectural journalism, uh, photography, uh, in photography, there is a separate stream called architectural photography because it needs uh, a kind of an eye to understand the details involved in architecture. So you can uh, add up this also. 3D visualization, uh, I had given you an um, example to it. So one of the image, uh, this is basically a computer rendered image. So that itself is one role that you can take up. Art direction, a lot of movies require uh, a lot of movies actually uh, architects who have uh, worked on a lot of movies are art directors architects have worked as art directors in movies as well uh, since it uh, set design and things like that involves uh, a built space maybe the aspect is more temporary there but it involves the same skill what an architect needs uh, to understand the space and everything so you can uh, take up art, uh, art direction after architecture so these are um, so I have, I think, taken you through the complete, uh, what all various uh, opportunities that are available, a wide range of op opportunities available in architecture. Uh, and both, uh, I did explain both in India and abroad. Uh, so abroad as a fresher, you can um, uh, easily get, uh, you have opportunities uh, very, uh, a lot in uh, Middle East and some, sometimes Singapore and everything through experience. And uh, if you are taking up masters, uh, you have a larger uh, opportunity base in abroad as well. Same in India. So I think that's about it uh, to give you a good idea into what kind of uh, uh, a good understanding into what happens in the industry and what kind of streams you can take up what you can do after architecture. 
So I just wanted to finish off uh, giving you uh, just this thing. Uh, basically, what is the uh, role of an architect in our society? So this is a quote uh, by Vincent Churchill. Probably it was used in different context. It says, we shape our buildings. Thereafter, it uh, shapes us. So uh, what I want to say from here is basically a uh, good design uh, plays a large role in uh, not just giving you a functional, um, uh, what do you call a functional uh, experience. It also affects a person in a subconscious level. It shapes the emotional and uh, emotional well-being of a person who uses it and whatever we deal with architecture is basically our immediate environment. So how we design our environment affects us. Uh, so it shapes us in a way and it, it thereafter shapes the community also. So an architect in the society has a large role to play in that sense. So thanks for your time, guys. So this is about it. And uh, probably I'll just uh, read the 